Cool. Guys, congratulations on the show. Thank you. Thank you. It's pretty amazing in terms of the scope of it. It feels like a big, huge Hollywood blockbuster. I mean, it's Netflix, obviously. There's a bit of money behind it, obviously. When you step on the set every day, do you, do you kind of pinch yourself as to just, not just how big it is, but the detail and just like, these are real sets. There's, I mean, it seems to be minimal CGI and that you're stepping into this world rather than... Yeah faking it as it were yeah it feels it's, it's always impressive yeah it? it really does and it's that thanks to Andrew Laws who is essentially yeah. who's created this world um, all these amazing sets that I wander around them frequently in between takes and I'm just like I wonder what's in this book what and they've written like they're all these Everything. books I've got a wealth of knowledge just in case we see them on screen it's yeah. the, the detail that and the and the love that's been put into the show in every aspect and every department of the show is something is one of the things that I love most about it yeah even the, the premiere they've built a snow globe as well. <laughs> yeah What's what monsters in it? I'm not. I don't think we're allowed to oh, say. Okay. We're not, allowed to. we're not allowed to say. You're in the realm of secrets now. Right? No, we can't really talk about are. things. That's why she <laughs> stuck with me. I think. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no stray Starbucks coffee cups. Though, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're on your set. Oh God, I, I'm I'm worried now. Yeah, <laughs> <me too. laughs> oh dear. <laughs> um, your character's journeys obviously are ever expanding. You know, you get into season two, you're delving more into the mythology. What was the most kind of surprising thing about? you reading the scripts for season two about your characters individually, was there something when you read it you thought, oh wow, that's, I wasn't expecting that turn or that, that character trait that's, that's now gonna be part of? I think that, I, I, I can't speak for Yennefer, but I was, I was so pleasantly surprised and that, that we got to see aspects of Yaskir that, that um, just made him slightly more human and more grounded and more vulnerable. Uh, he, human behind the loot. Exactly. Oh no, that's, got, that's going on a t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Man Andrew. behind the loot. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I got to, yeah, I got to see a character that was no longer just this performative um, goon, and that he was, he's now able to explore some of this emotional vulnerability and, and, and a bit of a darkness in him as well. Do you all feel like they mature a lot this season, all yeah. the characters? We're grown-ups now. Yeah, we're grown That's how it, <laughs> yeah. it felt. Yeah. It feels like that now. Um, yeah, for me, uh, I, I, I was, I mean, I'm always surprised with Yennefer because we created so much of her storyline. Um, but definitely this season, I mean, she goes through a huge shift in her journey. Um, one that I think has given her the biggest opportunity, more so than any other character, to kind of, you know, get under the skin of um, of Yennefer, kind of find find out what she's she's about, start again. Yeah. You said that line there about going on a t-shirt. Your fan base is so like rabid on Instagram and Twitter and stuff. That will be a t-shirt. Yeah, <laughs> Within the next absolutely. couple of months. By Christmas time, you'll have a t-shirt yeah, of yeah, that, yeah, I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> um, I was just talking to Henry and he was saying about, obviously, you know, people recognize him as Superman, but then there's all you guys as well in this. And that as an ensemble, you sometimes don't get to work with everybody else. Are you hopeful going forward that, you know, unexpected paths will cross? You know, people were, with the Avengers, for example, excited about all the crossovers that yeah, then came. Are cool, you guys yeah. hoping for something like that? I think that's what makes this show so fun to shoot. Yes. Because we, you know, you'll get to one episode and there'll be some rewrites or mm. maybe like some changes and, and I'll go, oh, wonderful. I've never worked with you. I've known you for yeah. years. And, I've, and, and I've, we've seen each other on set, but we get to go and hang out and have a cup of tea. And exactly. It's really, really, really fun because like there's, the, everyone is, no one's, an idiot. Everyone's lovely. Yeah, it's, Sophie it's so, Colin, it's so man, rare. has done an amazing job of getting this cast together. Everyone's yeah. so lovely. But also, like, in this show, in this season especially, you, they've put people, the writers have put people together that just, you wouldn't think complement each other. Yeah. But actually, they are the biggest kind of complement to each other yeah. because they, they really do. By putting two opposites together, you, you, you can kind of Bring out really, the best yeah, of both of them. that's it. Exactly. Yeah. I think that's the thing with fandom these days as well, in the sense that fandom has become such a big thing that when you do put two seemingly opposites together, everyone gets so surprised that it creates this new energy exactly. for, for everything, which is, I guess, which is will be really exciting for yeah, you. Yeah. And obviously you've been renewed for season three already. You can't give any spoilers away for season two, obviously. You couldn't but have tried. No, couldn't no. Have tried. <laughs> <laughs> Was there fake scripts going around? Did you guys know the whole story? Because that's the thing now, isn't it, where people get given fake pages as to uh, end audition oh, no, yeah. no, no. auditions. At auditions, yeah. They, they yeah, give yeah. like fake scripts so that mm -hmm. they don't get leaked. Yeah. Um, but they, they, I mean, we're, we're all talking about it, and and Lauren is so collaborative and so open that as that we've, I mean, I, like we've not ha had any access to anything on season three, but 
it's not that the, those these conversations haven't started. Yeah. And and it's so it's rewarding. Okay. No one no one has a leadership style like Lauren. She just is open and goes, what do you, what, what, do you, do you what do you think? Yeah. yeah. And it's a gift to be yeah. able to go. Uh, well, yeah. Let's let's dive in and rip these these characters apart. Absolutely, it always feels equal. Yeah. Um, but sometimes, like, it's not our, at the moment. It's not our job to know. I think it's really kind of ex, kind of exciting mm. us stepping into like not knowing and 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 um, figuring it out as it goes along. I think that really helps me. Mm. Excellent. Guys, I wish you all the best with the show anyway. It's, Thank it's you. gone gangbusters so far, so I'm sure it'll only get bigger. Aww. Thank you so much for your time. Thank, Thank you so Thank much. You so so air so fist bump Thank to you. you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, yeah. Is that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.